so on continuation with the causes of female ketonuria which is going to the clinical symptoms and its diagnosis so the clinical symptoms it is the irreversible biochemical abnormalities such as mental retardation and neurological dysfunctions eczema in early life of infants and few babies may exhibit epilepsy parkinson like features and decreased hair and uh, skin pigmentation which is appears as uh, uh, white color and diagnosis so the estimation of the phenylalanine level in the blood usually above 600 mu micro mole per liter is primarily used to detect the phenylketonuria where increased level of phenylalanine and phenylpyruvate in blood and urine and this analyzed to confirm the phenylketonuria using the gas chromatography mass spectroscopy methods and the treatment uh, early diagnosis of uh, uh, phenylketonuria in affected person is beneficial for the treatment and it is recommended one for restricting the intake of phenylalanine in diet already it is get accumulated in tissues and after we uh, intake of more analyzed in diet leads to the toxic effects of uh, phenylalanine accumulation and it may uh, maintain the level of phenylalanine to 2 to 6 mg per deciliter in plasma and the adjuvant therapy with saproterin is also helpful for the tku treatment and coming to the tyrosinemia it is also the amino acid uh, metabolism disorders this is the metabolic genetic disorders of both the phenylalanine catabolism and it occurs mainly in newborns and this disorder results due to the absence or deficiency of the enzymes involved in the multiple steps of phenylalanine tyrosine catabolism so tyrosinemia one uh, which mainly lacks the fumaryl acetoacetate hydroxylase enzyme that is fak enzyme with inherited genetic defect results in the tyrosinemia disease and this enzymes involved in the tyrosine metabolism which mainly converts the fumaryl acetoacetic acid into fumaric acid and acetoacetic acid you could see the uh, equation wherein you see the a uh, fumaric acetoacetic acid which is converted into fumaric acid plus acetoacetic acid with the help of enzyme fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase so when this particular enzyme fumaryl acetoacetate hydrolase is defective or does not produced in our body or deficiency of this particular enzyme will lead to the accumulation of fumaric acetoacetic acid in tissues and organs which finally leads to the liver disease and kidney disease and it affects both the liver and kidney and this disease is also called as hepatorenal tyrosinemia hepato in the sense liver renal in the sense kidney it affects both liver and kidney and coming to the clinical symptoms it leads to diarrhea vomiting Uh, renal tubular dysfunction vitamin d resistant uh, that is rickets in osteomalacia and acute intermediate propheria like symptoms like abdominal pain neuropsychotic findings uh, and sensitive to light hypertension progressive liver and renal failure and coming to the tyrosinemia too it mainly involves the nails and also of the hands showing bluish color discoloration in affected people with alkaptonuria and the disorder caused by the deficiency of one particular enzyme is tyrosine amino transferase enzyme which mainly catalyzes the first step in the catabolism of tyrosine and is forming the keto acid and para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid so on uh, observing the equation tyrosine is often converted into para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate with the help of enzyme tyrosine amino transferase and when the tyrosine amino transferase enzymes is deficient or defective in the body it cannot synthesized to para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate and uh, this leads to the accumulation of tyrosine in blood cells and in blood and it leads to the disorder called tyrosinemia 
one and i was near two